Hi everyone, it's Angela from Shin Screens, and today we're going to take a look at these dollar store grow kits. And we're going to see if these are any good. We're going to see if they give us nice healthy plants and delicious fruit at the end. So um, these are a dollar each. And I'm always a little bit skeptical about these grow kits, but we're going to check it out. Okay, so let's start with the strawberry. Now this one is the Alpine strawberry. It tells you the variety in the bottom. And now if you've ever grown Alpine strawberries, this is not what they look like. Okay, so Alpine strawberries are very small, very seedy. Um, they're not as plump and juicy as these strawberries. Um, and it's kind of like a wild strawberry. So, um, but we're gonna give it a shot. And what I like about this grow kit is that it has a sell by date on the bottom. And it tells you that these seeds are pretty fresh and they haven't been sitting around on the shelf for years and years. So, so there you go. We're gonna try the Alpine Strawberry Grow Kit. And I have two tomatoes here. Okay, let's start with this one. Again, this one has a sell by date on the bottom, which is great. And this variety is the Marmond variety. So the Marmond tomato is a beefsteak tomato. So it's a pretty large tomato and it's also an indeterminate type. So tomatoes come in two main varieties. There's determinate and indeterminate. So the determinate type um, will give you a flush of tomatoes that ripen pretty much all at the same time. And when those tomatoes are ripened, the plant's basically done and it dies. Now the indeterminate tomatoes will actually just keep growing. They'll keep producing and keep growing until something kills it off, like frost or mildew. I do think that the determinate types are more um, low maintenance and kind of a little bit easier for beginner gardeners. And also um, the smaller tomato varieties are also better for beginner gardeners. So the smaller the tomato, the easier it, it ripens, the less sun that it needs, less uh, space that it needs. Uh, whereas a beefsteak tomato needs a lot of sun. Um, a lot of time to ripen the fruit, a lot of space. So I'm a little surprised that they chose a beefsteak tomato as also an indeterminate type as, you know, as a, the choice for these little grow kits. Cause I imagine most people who use these are probably beginner gardeners, but this is what we get. So this is what we're gonna grow. And this last one is, is called a tomato rocket. And this one has seeds embedded in this uh, material and you just plant the whole thing and this one says grow hundreds of organic tomatoes and create your own tomato factory that's some big promises there from the tomato rocket so <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot here and then again this one also has a sell by date which is great and this variety is the Marion variety. It's a Marion tomato, which is a medium size slicing tomato. And it's also an indeterminate type. So let's get planting. Okay, let's take a look at the Buzzy brand Dollar Store Alpine Strawberry Grow Kit. This one comes with two sheets of paper that have strawberry seeds embedded in them. And it also comes with a brick of coconut coir. Coconut coir is the outer husk of coconuts that have been processed and dehydrated into these bricks and you do have to rehydrate them. But they make a very good seed starting medium because it has a very soft, fine, fluffy texture that both absorbs moisture and allows for oxygenation. So once you soak this in the water for a few minutes and you fluff it up, it'll look like this. And now we're going to fill the pot that the grow kit came with. I'm going to reserve a little bit of the coconut coir so that I can cover the seeds with it. And we're going to repeat the process with the tomato.
Okay, let's take a look at the tomato rocket. Okay, I don't know what kind of material this is made of. I don't know if it's full of chemicals or, or what. I mean, this is definitely not organic. So these directions say to plant the entire roll directly into the soil like this, but I'm not gonna do that. Now this one doesn't have any other instructions. This is it. Um, now, as you can see, you can see that seeds are kind of dotted um, throughout this roll. I can see some here, down here. So if I were to plant this roll uh, vertically this way, we're gonna have some seeds that are way too deep and some that are more shallow. So I'd rather plant it this way along the surface. So that's how I'm gonna plant this. And this material is just falling apart. Oh my goodness, you can see. I don't know what this material is made of. Um, there's certainly some artificial dye in here. Now, I don't know which way to plant this, uh, whether to plant it the green spongy side up or the white papery side up. So I'm just gonna do half and half. So it's been about two weeks and these strawberries have sprouted really well. I'm actually very pleased with these. So I'm going to go ahead and transplant these into larger pots. An important thing that you have to remember is that coconut coir does not contain any nutrients. So if you were to leave these strawberry plants in the coconut coir without adding any fertilizers or compost, they're not going to grow very well. They won't have any nutrients. So I'm transplanting them in soil that contains a lot of rich compost. Okay, so here are my alpine strawberries. I got one, two, three, four, five. They are hard to see because they're so tiny. Okay, now this is the Marmond tomato and that was the large beefsteak tomato. They sprouted really well. The seedlings look really healthy. So these are the seedlings from the tomato rocket and the seedlings are still embedded in that green spongy material so i'm going to try my best to separate them out gently without damaging the roots too much now i got a lot of seedlings from the tomato rock and i probably have close to 30 seedlings of course i can't keep them all so i will give most of them away so this one is the marion tomato growing so well this one is the Marmond tomato and also doing quite well. I'm happy with that. And here are the Alpine strawberries from the Dollar Store Grow Kit. We'll check in after a few more months and we'll see eventually if these will produce any runners and flowers and eventually fruit, but that's going to take a little while. Okay, everyone. So these are the strawberry plants, the Alpine strawberry from the Dollar Store Grow Kit. These have been growing for only about three months. They actually grew pretty fast. Some of them already had flowers. And this one already produced the first strawberry. Just check that out. But this is really fast for a strawberry plant producing fruit in, in only three months. It's really fast. Let me go ahead and pluck this off. So I'm going to go ahead and taste this. Mmm, it's really good. Um, it's it's quite tart, but with a really good flavor. Oh, I really like that, but it's just that these strawberries are so tiny. That's actually quite good. The flavor is um, kind of more floral, more perfumey than a regular strawberry, but that is delicious. I, I would say this is a success because I got my first fruit in just three months. The plants look pretty healthy. Um, so I would say this is a winner. I think I would do this, this variety again. Okay, this one is the Marion tomato variety. That one came from the tomato rocket. I don't think that these seeds are the highest quality and the plants are not the healthiest. Um, there are some clusters of fruit here, 
but this plant was very susceptible to caterpillars. I had a ton of fruit that I ended up pulling off because they would get um, eaten, you know, eaten by caterpillars. And although a healthy tomato plant can still fall victim to caterpillars, I do think that the overall health and the immune system of the plant can help deter caterpillars. And this one just was not doing well. In the end, I don't think I'm gonna get much fruit off of this. Now, this one is the Marmond tomato. And I got one beautiful looking tomato there that's ripening, but I had the same problem as the other plant. The tomato was not very robust. It didn't really produce very much. The strawberry plants kept producing more fruit and they taste amazing. They are so delicious. They are some of the best tasting strawberries I've ever grown. Okay, it's finally time to harvest the tomatoes from the tomato rocket. I only have a couple of ripe ones that were not damaged by caterpillars. And as you can see, they are pretty small. Okay, here we have, oh my gosh. I guess that tomato was ripe. All right. Now this is the only tomato that I got off of this plant. Um, pretty disappointing with the production, um, but we're gonna give this a taste and see how it is. Hey everyone. So I've got two tomato varieties here that I'm gonna taste. This one is the Marion tomato from the Tomato Rocket. And this one is the Marmond tomato from the Buzzy Grow Kit. So, so I'm gonna start with this one. Let's try the Marion tomato first. Okay, let's give it a taste. First of all, it smells really fragrant. I think it's gonna be a really tasty, sweet tomato. Mmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. So I had really low expectations from this, but actually, you know, it tastes surprisingly good. It has a um, pretty nice balance of um, sweetness and acidity. All right. Okay, now let's try the Marmond tomato, and this one is from the Buzzy Grow Kit. Okay. Mm. It's okay. It has a very mild flavor. Actually, honestly, not much flavor at all. Let's try one more bite. Mm. I would say it actually tastes like a grocery store tomato. You know, kind of bland, not a lot of flavor. I'm really not impressed with the flavor, so I'm not ever going to grow this one again. Yeah, no flavor on that one. This is from the Tomato Rockets. Let me try this one more time. A lot better. Okay, so final thoughts on the Dollar Store Grow Kits. Let's start with the Tomato Rocket. Okay, so the tomato rocket, um, was it worth it? No way. No way I would never ever use the tomato rocket again. Because um, first of all, the seeds come embedded in this spongy artificial material. I don't know what it's made of. It's probably filled with all kinds of chemicals. I don't know if it's harmful to me, if it's harmful to the environment. And, um, and the design of the product is just terrible. The spongy material that comes kind of rolled in a little roll, you're supposed to plant the whole thing as is in a pot, but then you're gonna get a ton of seeds all clumped together and you're not gonna be able to separate them out. So I don't know why it was designed like that. Then also at the end, the tomatoes, um, even though they tasted okay, there are a lot of way better tasting tomato varieties out there. It's just so much better to buy a packet of seeds, plant it in some really good potting mix, and um, and you get better tomatoes, right? And it's really not that much more expensive. So the tomato rocket, in my opinion, I would not recommend for anybody. Now let's talk about the Buzzy Tomato Grow Kit. Buzzy Tomato Grow Kit was 
it was okay. Um, the tomatoes in the end did not taste very good. Very bland, no flavors. It's just not worth it. Buzzy Grill Kit, tomato variety, not worth the $1 that I spent on it. Now, the surprise winner of the Dollar Store Grow Kit is the Alpine Strawberry. I mean, just look at how beautiful this plant is. It's growing so well. And even though these Alpine strawberries are really tiny, even though they're super tiny, they taste amazing. They literally taste like candy. This plant alone probably has a dozen strawberries on it. And most of them are not quite ripe yet, but I have been eating um, a good amount of strawberries off of this plant. And the Alpine strawberry is such a unique fruit. You can't find it in any grocery store. Even farmer's markets don't sell them. And so it's really fun to grow a totally unique plant that tastes really good. And I'm just, I mean, I'm really impressed. I would definitely recommend the Alpine Strawberry Grow Kit from the dollar store. Totally worth it. Thank you so much for watching Shin Screens and I'll see you guys next time. And today's a really exciting day because we are expanding the Shin Screens garden.